Hey Techno Studs, what I mentioned in a prior video is when we came up with IP version 6, we started recreating how this could function and what it can do. And one of the ideas behind this is we want devices to be self-sufficient and not have to rely on servers to get a bunch of information where there's weak points. So one of the ways that we have overcome this is uh, we've gotten rid of the DHCP server and have replaced it with Slack. So what we're gonna be talking about in this video is we'll be talking about Slack. We'll talk about some of the other options with getting IP addresses, but then we'll talk about Slack and how Slack works. In this video, let's do a little flashback to DHCP and figure out how IP version 4 handed out its IP addresses. Then we can better understand some of the options that we have available with IP version 6 and how we can hand out IP version 6 addresses or create IP version 6 addresses. We'll go specifically into stateless address auto configuration. So stateless address auto configuration, that is Slack. And so we're gonna cover what Slack looks like and then take a look at the Slack process. DHCP is a protocol that's associated with IP version 4. What it allowed to do is a computer to attach to a network and then request, it would send out a broadcast and request an address. And then a DHCP server would then provide that address. It happened all on layer two as it was sent out and it would be a broadcast. Well, that's not going to work with our IP version 6 because we don't have broadcasts in IP version 6. So then we ask the question, well, how do we assign IP version 6 addresses to machines? Well, first of all, we can just statically assign address addresses to the machines. So we just go onto the machine and we statically assign, configure the machine with a IP version 6 address. You can imagine this can be very cumbersome. It could have been cumbersome, it was cumbersome even with IP version 4 addresses. And now that you have such long addresses with IP version 6, it would just become very uh, hard to manage that. We also then have stateful DHCP version 6. So this is DHCP version 6. So that means that you have a server that can hand out IP addresses to your machines. And there's a mechanism that will allow this DHCP version 6 to work. Uh, we'll possibly talk about that though in a future video. We're not gonna talk about it in this. Uh, course right uh, or this video right here then we have slack and the slack is that automatic uh, assignment of these so the machine we already have looked at how a machine can come up with the host bits or its link local address or you know the the interface side of the address on its own and verify that there's no other devices that are on this network that have uh, that have that address. And so therefore it would be a unique address on this network. And if the network itself is a unique address and the address on this machine is unique within, the, within this network, then you know globally that this address has a unique address. So really all it needs to do is to be able to know what on the network, what is a, the uh, subnet or what is the... Um, network address of this network right here. And so what it will do is it will do that uh, router solicitation and ask the router for that information. And the router will then send back information about what network it's on. It takes that information about what network it's on and that unique address that it has for that network on that network. It combines them together and now it has a unique address out there in the world. And so that is how Slack works. But there are some things, it has a lot of options to it and you can do a lot of configurations, things like DNS and you can configure uh, routers and you, uh, default gateways. So there's a lot of configurations that you can have on there. However, there are possibly situations where a DHCP server would actually serve that, uh, that device better. And so in that case right there, we can 
use both Slack and stateless DHCP. So stateful would mean that the DHCP server handled it all. Stateless DHCP means that you this device actually gets most of its information from the router, but the pieces of information that it can't get, then it reaches out to the DHCP server. So one of the pieces of information that this router would send back is, okay, here is your information, but also you will need to reach out to the DHCP server to get some additional information. So there you have it. It is the stateless address auto configuration. The stateless address auto configuration does just what we talked about, where a machine can take the information it gets back from the router to figure out the network portion of the address. It has a mechanism to come up with the interface information and combined, that will be enough information to get out to the real world. This is the preferred method because it doesn't rely on any single piece of uh, equipment that's out there. There's very little configuration that happens with this. So the uh, what we call this is, this is a stateless where it is just self-serve. Uh, and so these devices can serve themselves. They just need that little piece of information and then they come up with those addresses. That's why it's stateless. So in this video, we took a look at DHCP and how DHCP helps serve out IP version four addresses. Then we talked about how are some options for IP version six. It does have a DHCP version six option that you can use a DHCP server, but that is not the preferred method. The preferred method is to use this stateless address auto configuration because that process is already built into IP version six. It's really simple to set up. It is less reliant on other equipment to make sure that things are connected correctly. There's less configurations. There's less uh, chances of things going wrong. And so Slack really is the preferred method for setting up your devices with IP version six addresses. Thanks again for watching my video. If you liked it, could you hit that like button? 